What's up, guys, and welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing in a bridged review for the T Titans TV show on HBO Max. And it's going to be a quick review of seasons two and three, just because I did more of a quick, or um, for season two, I watched the season, or I started watching the season from the beginning, but I kind of fell off by the time they got to episode 6 with Connor, the merging uh, lab-created version of Superman and Lex Luthor, just because it didn't feel like the season was going anywhere. And then all of a sudden they have an episode with um, Connor, where they're, they're mixing DNA in this bad guy group that didn't really have much of an introduction or who they were or why they're relevant. So I read the episode descriptions and I ended up moving to the last two episodes of season two to round it out. And it really didn't feel like I was missing too much as far as the episodes in between. So episodes seven through 11, I believe it is. Just because it feels like the show in season two was doing a lot of back and forth, spending a lot of time with Hawk and Dove, which wasn't necessarily bad, but it's like with the end of season one, we have Starfire leaving to figure out what's going on with herself and her memories and who she is as far as coming from another planet. But then by the end of season two, with the loss of Donna, we now have where we have Starfire returning. But then we have uh, Raven going off to um, try and see if she can help resurrect Donna in the mascara. So it was like, okay, well, each season they're going to have someone leave and then someone else come back. Um, so it was okay of a season, but it feels like season two could have been limited down or cut down to maybe around eight or nine episodes. So. It just feels like the show does a lot of back and forth and spending a lot of time in periodic character development, but then have throwing in a full episode to introduce a character and organization, which they resolved by the end of the episode. And that's the same O'Connor episode, so it's kind of strange. So with, episode, or with season three, I decided to watch the first two episodes. Um, as far as Barbara Gordon and the introduction of Red Hood, and then the episode titled Lazarus Pit, which I want to say is probably one of the better episodes as far as character profile goes, because it shows the transition of Jason Todd to becoming the Red Hood, the interactions with um, Scarecrow and all of that. So for me, I kind of... So, I don't know, it just feels like the show is kind of all over the place in storytelling. They kind of piecemeal some character development then they spent a lot of time on introducing all these characters and then backtracking and um filling in information about them but then introducing a brand new character and then spending a whole episode on that one character so it just feels like the show isn't quite sure what it wants to do where for me, the the easiest comparison after season one, and especially with um, seasons two and three, is that they took a lot of time with, or they, it feels like they took their cue from Gotham's uh, middle seasons that were not too good. So I want to say at yeah, seasons four and five, but then for see the last, so for season three of Titans, it feels like they're bringing in a lot of the storytelling from the final season of Gotham. So. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what they're trying to accomplish as far as storytelling goes and introducing characters and villains and stuff like that. But the near as I, or as near as I can tell is that they are trying to do a reverse storytelling that we should know all of these character interactions and um, relationships and all of that. And then they're going back to fill in all of the various information. So it kind of... I don't know just for me it doesn't feel like it's hitting home as far as wanting to watch more of the show the episodes are very slow paced which is not necessarily a bad thing for the show but then if there was something going on where we wanted to care about the good guys and see more cool things with the bad guys then it would work better so it kind of feels to me that what we're seeing in season three would work better in season one uh, leave season two alone, but just narrow it down just because it feels like that was extended a lot more than it needed to be. And then with 
um, Raven coming back, for example, from Themyscira and now fully understanding her powers, then introduce her father in the form of Trigon. And that would have made for a much more ominous and impactful introduction and resolution to his storyline. So for me, I mean, I might watch end up watching the rest of the episodes in season three beyond the ones related to Red Hood or at least the three that I watched related to the Red Hood, but it's kind of hard to watch the show when it, all the episodes kind of feel all over the place and you kind of can read from the descriptions and figure out where they're at and nitpick the episodes, or not nitpick, but cherry pick the episodes that you want to watch and then just watch those episodes because you know where things are going to you can, or basically, you can pick up everything that's going on in the show. You know where all the characters are going to be. You know that Dick is kind of um, hesitant to be Nightwing, but now he's going to do that. He's understanding with family. Jason Todd's going to be the hothead and do things for the moment. Uh, Raven, um, Gar, and Starfire are going to have their issues. They're going to want to leave or they want to be included in stuff. So they're going to have their... Um, issues and qualms but as long as they're included they're okay and then as far as the deteriorating relationship between Hawk and Dove you know that's going to happen with them and they're going to want to leave but then they come back and then they can't really work together beyond what's going on as far as an immediate mission so then they'll fall apart again so things like that so it feels like each season is a uh, repetition of the um, or each episode or actually even each season for that matter really tr uh, is a rehash of what happened before but with new circumstances new situations new characters and things like that where I will give Gotham credit in this case where they actually did a good job as far as introducing characters and having them um, turn into and progress into their individual roles even though those those seasons like four and five and even part of three for that matter felt like they were doing an extra rehash of a lot of material but at least they took the time to get you there and um have you care about the different characters and see that progression into their specific roles and characteristics and personality traits and all of that with this, it, rely, it feels like it's relying heavily on knowing who the Titans are, who the various characters are, knowing a little bit about each one, and then filling in the backstory. So for me, it's kind of hard to recommend the show. Um, so if I was to grade it, I would probably give it about a C to a C plus. Maybe at a, the full stretch, I would probably give it a, a, somewhere in the low B range, but it was, it kind of, for me, it would require cutting out several episodes. Um, notably in season two, and I think it, sound, it seems like season three is going on or potentially canceled because an episode just came out um, the same week as I'm recording this podcast. Um, but I could have sworn in the. Um, that it was uh, canceled potentially so i'm not sure exactly how that's all going but in any case it's one of those things that while i have an hbo subscription i may potentially go back and um see if uh, you know watching individual episodes make things better um see maybe how Ra the return of raven is important or her time in themiscara but for me it's kind of hard to invest time in the show just because of how all over the place the show is so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback of your own did you like or dislike the show or what did you like or dislike about the show then you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphones neil doll reviews for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff and of course you can follow along with my playthrough of or my latest playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic for Android on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Um, I'm nearing the completion of the, um, this particular playthrough, so look out for a review of that coming soon. Along with, um, I'm currently planning to rewatch the Man With No Name trilogy, the one film starring Clint Eastwood, notably um, 
the good, the bad, and the ugly, a fistful of dollars, and I think for a few dollars more, if memory serves. Um, I haven't washed those in some time, so I wanted to rewash those and see how they hold up. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode and review, and until next time.